What's up, y'all? Today we're going to talk about the UFO maps that shows the locations where U.S. show where U.S. shot down mysterious objects. Um, so we have this video here of the meteor being filmed exploding above France as the Super Bowl ends. So, yeah, that's crazy. Look at that. So, yeah, we're shooting these things out of the sky, and now they're saying that you this one just we didn't shoot this one out of the sky. That that they're just saying whatever fourth UFO in a week. Okay, so following a recent stint of UFO, this is a this is an article by Newsweek, by the way. Following a recent stint of UFOs being shot down across the U.S. and Canada, maps showing the locations of these uh, incidents have begun to circulate on social media. The White House has reportedly confirmed that unidentified flying ob objects have been spotted across the country this month. I'm glad they call it uh, unidentified flying objects and not UAP because we ain't calling that UAP. That's some that's some bullshit. That's more of BS. UFOs, you know, you called it crazy before that it was UFOs. Now you want it to be called something else? No, 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 no. I'm glad they use UFOs because we're not we're not calling it UAP. That's trash. That's trash. That don't even sound good. That's not what they want. You're saying UFO sounds cool to say. UAP doesn't sound cool to say, right? <laughs> um, yeah. So this current spate of sightings began with the with an event in South Carolina on February first. Which was later confirmed by a Chinese to be a Chinese surveillance balloon. That this high altitude object was eventually shot down on February fourth, and would become the first of many over the following days. Um, the Live Crisis Intel Twitter page, uh, a, de a, a page dedicated to live updated updates of events around the world, shared a map on Sunday, showing. The location of shot down UFOs at at the time. Y'all ready for this? Cause I, you know, I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna show you, but just know, it's it's type it's type insane. The map showed that the Chinese spy craft was shot down on February 4th, just off South Carolina. The map also showed the location of an unidentified flying object shot down on Friday, February 10th, in northern Alaska. Look at this chat. Look at this. Look that that's all over. February 4th, the supposed Chinese spy craft, and then sat, then Friday, object shot down on, the on top of Alaska, and then Saturday in Yukon Territory in Canada, and then Saturday again, radar, quote, radar anomaly detected, but no object found. What does that mean? Are they, are they saying, I... Right, we gotta make ourselves invisible because you guys are shooting us down. Is that is that what that means? I don't know, but that's that's nuts. Um, in addition to this, the map showed a radar anomaly that was detected and shot down. Oh, so <laughs> that's crazy. They said a radar anomaly and they shot it down. They said they didn't even say it was a thing. They just said it was a quote radar anomaly and they just shot it down. They don't know what it was. They can't, they didn't even say it was an object. At least the other one said object. This one is like we don't know what it was, but we shot it down. We, first, we shot it though we don't know what it is but it's out the sky now um though no object has yet been found the map also showed the estimated location of another ufo that was shot down on the same day in canada's yukon territory twitter user jay cuda also shared an updated map that detailed the location of the latest shot down ufo you see here yeah we just saw this over there that's pretty much that's pretty much what it was but Okay, so 210 was a shot. They shot down an unidentified cigar shaped aircraft. That's crazy to call it a sh cigar shaped aircraft. That's just crazy to even say that. Um, and the other ones say unidentified object. What's the difference, right? Oh, look, 212. That's a, that's a new one. Shot down unidentified octagon aircraft. So this one's eight shaped, the other one's cigar shaped. Wow. Or eight sided shape. Airspace closed. Fighters scrambled for unidentified aircraft on uh, radar. Well, we panicking. We in a panic right now. Uh, the White House confirmed on Sunday that the military had shot down an unidentified flying object near Lake Huron in Michigan. The White House, that's that's right here. That's the 212. That's the octa 
octagonal aircraft. So an A-sided aircraft was shot down over Michigan. Um, the White House has not yet given details, has not yet officially given details regarding the origin of the UFO. How are they supposed to know the origin of the UFO? It's unidentified. How would they know? There's no made in Mars marking. What would they even... Uh, after the spy balloon's destruction, China's foreign ministry spokesperson, Mao Ning, held a briefing where they claimed it was an, quote, unmanned Chinese civilian airship. The Pentagon has... Well, we don't know if that's true. Um, the Pentagon has dismissed these claims and insisted it had surveillance cap cap capabilities. So, which one is it? You dismissed it or did it have surveillance capabilities? I don't know. Pentagon Press Secretary... Um, Brigadier General Pat Ryder said it was not possible that the object was a civilian weather monitoring balloon. He said, quote, I can assure, I can assure you, they misspelled this wrong. Come on, Newsweek. I can assure you this was not a, for, civilian, for a civilian purpose. We are 100% clear about that. He added that, quote, any res reasonable nation would have notified government before an aircraft crossed into another sovereign airspace. Uh, which is fair. That's, I mean, you know, that's, that's, that's strong. Like, he's like, yeah, we know this way up, they're up to no good because they didn't tell us about it. If they were up to no good, then you could just say, like, oh, no, that's good. That's for weather. Like, hold it down. Which, that makes sense. He continues, quote, the People's Republic of China did not do that. They didn't respond until they, until after they were called out. Which, you know, again, that's, that's super fair. Um, U.S. officials believe that the balloon was part of a larger Chinese surveillance balloon program. Since, the interact uh, since the interaction with the spy balloon, U.S. Air Force U.S. forces has been put on greater alert. General Glenn Van Herc, head of the North American Aerospace Defense Command (NORAD), spoke to the media on Sunday about the recent incidents. He confirmed that NORAD had been put on quote high end alert since the aircraft was sighted. We have been more. He said quote. We have been more closely scrutinizing our airspace at the altitude, at these altitudes, including enhancing our radar, which may at least partially explain to the increase in interception. So, so it's like he's saying we don't, we were, we're now we're even looking even more. We're, we're updating our radars, to the, which means now we get to see more that we weren't seeing before. So maybe that's what it is. Since they updated the radars, it's like now they get to see more than before. Which, so that means now they get to do what? Now, now they get to see more. If they get to see more, of course that's gonna that's gonna result in in more more action, more um, panic, really. So you know, let's not be panicked. We, we can't respond to these things in panic because if that happens, then then it's gonna be easy. It's like when a boxer throws you know faint jabs. If you super react to them, then you're gonna get knocked out because it's gonna be easy to fake that jab and hit you with the hook. You know, like you can't. You can't super react to every little thing. You got to react and investigate and do your thing, sure. But to shoot everything down, it might not be the best. At least not as the first course of action, right? Like, try to understand what it is first. And, and, and then we worry about shooting it down. Which, listen, I'm not against shooting it down. I'm just saying, let's at least have an understanding of what it is before we start taking drastic actions. Because what, what if it's something not of this world? And we shoot it down. And now we got galactic beef. We don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. So, yeah, man. T tell me what you think.